loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be a foundation roundup. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so during this video, I'm going to pretty much do a review. I have a total of 10 foundations and a lot of you all know that I do a lot of testing new makeup, get ready with me using new makeup, just things like that. And in a lot of those videos or most of those videos, I'm gonna have a new foundation. So all of the foundations that I've purchased, I've had the opportunity to use them more outside of you know using them when I did the video so I feel like now I can give you all pretty much a good idea of my thoughts and how these particular foundations wear etc before we begin I thought it would be important to tell you a little bit about my skin type I do have normal skin I like to just classify it as normal even though I might get a little bit oily on my forehead and nose and that that's might and that's after long hours of wear I do have a very very intense skincare routine um, day and night in fact it was kind of funny I have a video where I did a morning skincare routine and I had someone comment and she said I think it was a she and she said that sure a lot that sure is a lot of steps so I just kind of chuckled and I've just found that if I don't do all of my steps my skin really gets angry uh, and it just means it just doesn't look as good or as healthy and as far as my age I am 49 I'll be 50 in September and I do show some some signs of aging you know of course uh, as the years go by <laughs> the signs will be more apparent and that's a lot of the reasons why I try to take really good care of my skin I do drink lots of water uh, but I think for me uh, the main thing that I do that really helps my skin and my overall well-being and that's just really getting lots and lots of rest <laughs> and stress keeping stress down also it's important for me to tell you all the types of foundations that I typically am drawn to are glowy or radiant or dewy or skin tints and things like that because what I've found over the years because my skin has changed is that the matte foundations they just don't look as good as they used to when I was younger so and when I say younger I mean like in 20s uh, 30s but it just doesn't what I'm noticing is just the matte foundations really don't look the same all right so the first one that I have is by CoverGirl and this is a this is their CoverGirl Outlast Extreme 3 in 1 foundation and this is the one where you're supposed to have the same effect as using a concealer. Uh, it is full coverage. I do like that about it. It does have an SPF in it. Not much but it does have some uh, and it's an SPF of 18 and I really liked how it covered up all of my hyperpigmentation and things like that. The only drawback for me with this foundation is that if you do have or I did have a very tight feeling after applying this foundation and the tightness felt worse as time progressed so this foundation is not something that I'm going to gravitate to I probably will you know check it out again in the summertime to see maybe if that tightness will go away but yeah um, this one is okay I don't think that I would recommend it to anyone only because of the tightness all right so the next one that I have is the new Sephora best skin ever foundation this foundation is so popular on the YT and I think it's popular because of Andrea Renee. She did a lovely review on it. I did a review, well, I didn't do a review on this foundation only. I did like a get ready with me using it. And I think that it's absolutely beautiful. This is one of Sephora's house brands, as you know. It, it's only $20. And what I like most about it is that it's it looks very natural on the skin this is a type of foundation where if you're looking for something to wear every day and you don't want anything heavy uh, yet you still want something that's going to give you uh, you know a reasonable amount of coverage um, I would definitely check this out especially for the price what you're getting uh, for the price is magnificent and I'm shocked that it's not more than $20 all right so the next one that I have is the new Huda Beauty luminous matte foundation so I think I find it interesting how companies play on these words luminous matte so what 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 exactly is that so I do have some of Huda Beauty's makeup products so when I saw that she had a luminous matte <laughs> you know I'm thinking okay because the first one I heard it was it was it was it was not for me so I got it and this is very very matte I don't think in my opinion uh, this would be good for mature skin because um, in person this foundation makes me look extra 
extra older and it's like it's so funny because you know i'll do my videos and after i do my makeup you know of course my husband sees me and you know some sometimes he's like oh you know okay you look, you look nice and it's like when i when i had this one he didn't he was like he didn't say i look bad or anything but you know you can kind of tell when people think oh no you know because some foundations you all as you know they just don't look right <laughs> you know it looks good all under the lights and things like that but in person and that's what I try to do when I'm uh, talking about foundations to you all I try to talk about how it's looking in person because if you decide to pick it up and you know you're gonna wear it and you're gonna be you're gonna you know see how it looks and then you know if I'm telling you oh yeah it looks good in person you're gonna be like what was Bridget talking about but anyway what I will say uh, in regards to this foundation when all of this crazy stuff that's going on you know where you can't go anywhere you know, and all this other stuff when it gets back to where you can go to concerts and stuff like that where it's going to be dark and dim and you need full coverage you need a full coverage beat but you get you know how when your girlfriends come pick you up or you go out with your husband and it's dark outside <laughs> i would wear this one you know because it's, it's definitely going to cover up all of your flaws because it's full coverage um and it, and it looks good under dim lighting so if you have some place to go and you want to look beat and you're not going to be under a lot of light i would definitely check this one out okay so this next one is the new foundation by clinique this is the even better clinical foundation i loved this foundation i thought it was really nice um i think that it has some really good ingredients you know when i look on you know when i look on sephora it doesn't have a lot i think it has like three or four stars and i think on trend mood you know i think um, that i saw some comments about you know them not having enough shades for people of color and i've seen i saw some videos where people were like i don't like it because of that well you know um well first of all you know just let me say that everything is not going to work for everyone a friend of mine told me that so you know you really have to, you know, when you're looking at foundation reviews and things like that, I'm sure you all already know, you just kind of have to have your foundation twin and your foundation mindset twin. OK, you yeah, know, that that means just someone who kind of thinks uh, the same as you in regards to foundation. And that means they're looking for the same types of things you're looking for in makeup. But this didn't work for quite a few people. I personally liked it. I thought it looked pretty on the skin and, you know, definitely check out and see what other people are saying about it. I like it. I did a review on it. I'll link it up above. Uh, and, you know, I did the application, you know, and all of that to where you could see it. I tried to do up close, you know, so where you could see exactly how this look. Um, so yeah, I like it. <laughs> I think it looks really good on the skin. It felt good on the skin. I also like the packaging, um, even if it is kind of quirky and different with that top, but you know, um, I would recommend it. So definitely, you know, consider the ingredients and, you know, try it out. You know, if you're here in the States, you can definitely order it from Sephora. If you don't like it, you can exchange it. It or you can return it. All right, so this next one is by Morphe and this is their Filter Soft Focus Foundation. This foundation claims to be medium to full coverage. Uh, I could, I would consider it a medium, you know, a really good, good medium foundation. I think that the wear time is really nice on it. It does offer a few good ingredients, which I do like. I like the price of it. And I would just kind of consider this to be like a really soft matte. Yeah. So if you're one that doesn't really want to spend a lot on, you know, high end foundations and things like that, I would definitely check this one out. This one is definitely better than their very first foundation that they dropped. So, and I think that one was full coverage. I do have that one, you know, even though I think it is a soft matte, it really doesn't give you that kind of uh, dry, uh, cracky, crepey type of look uh, when you're up close. This definitely doesn't do that. And also you don't have to set this foundation which I really love all right so I have two powder foundations and I'm just going to talk about them at the same time this one is the Fenty Pro Filter powder foundation and this one is the Infallible Fresh Wear powder foundation I love both um, I've used the uh, Fenty powder foundation solo by itself um, I have a video on this and I'll link it up above looks beautiful though the, when I use this foundation this provided me with one of my better looks in a video you know sometimes I can do a video and I'm looking at it you know after I apply the makeup I'm like ugh no <laughs> it wasn't the case with this one this one was really pretty now the way that I use this one is I use this as a setting powder 
you know, when I really want to add more coverage, if I'm using a light uh, tint or something like that, then I add this. And this does look very pretty. Both of them are very pretty. So if you have oily skin or um, you're just looking for a good powder, either one of these would definitely work. All right, so the next one is, um, this one is uh, probably released in the latter part of 2020, but I just had to pick this one up um, because this one um, I've been wanting to try. This is the Tinted Cover Foundation by Nude Stick. And I recently got this and reviewed it. And I'm just gonna tell you, what I like about this one is that it doesn't dry out the skin and it's very hydrating. Um, and even after you set it, you still are going to look really dewy and uh, radiant. For some people, for people who are oily, I would probably just go ahead and say now to run from this foundation. Cause even if you set it, you're still going to get that, um, that dewy look just because of the consistency and I think this would be great if you have dry skin or mature skin you don't need a little of it and this is just for the person who wants a foundation that they can apply and go something that's going to be very light um, this one is very lovely um, I only used it a couple of times and it looks like I'm almost gone well I checked and you don't even get a full ounce <laughs> in this I'm like that's why it seems like I'm almost gone you only get a little bit and I only have a little a little bit left and I know I'm gonna, probably gonna have to cut off the the top to get it all off but anyway those are my thoughts on this little baby all right, so this next one is by the Lip Bar, and this is just a tint, three-in-one tinted skin conditioner. So um, this one, I feel, is very similar to the Nude Stick. Uh, you get the same type of coverage, same type of finish if you use a setting powder, and you don't need a lot of it. Uh, it does have decent coverage. I feel as though you can build it up to a medium coverage, which is what I like. And this one almost feels like you're putting a moisturizer on your on your face. It feels like a um, a skincare product that has uh, pigment in it. You know, basically, it feels really good. And uh, you know, I look forward to using it. You know, when they said I'm just testing out foundations and wearing them I look forward to this one because it's not one of those foundations uh, where you apply it and then a couple of hours later you're like okay I got to get this off I, I, don't, I don't care you know let me if I'm at the grocery store and there's a restroom and I have this crap on let me go get it out it's not it's not one of those which I really love um, it feels just really good and you don't feel it at all and I think um, what uh, initially when I used this in a video I'll link it down below I think I used two layers and even with two layers, you still can't feel it on your skin. I would say, even though this is a, isn't a dupe it video, if you like the new, or if you were kind of checking out the new stick, but you don't want to pay this price, definitely uh, go for the lip bar instead. Uh, and the last one that I have is by Revlon. This is their color stay light cover foundation and it has a natural tint uh first of all the shade range is very poor i you know the, the shade range, range is ridiculous but because you know in my opinion because the cover is so light you can kind of dibble and dabble in between shades and get away with things you know especially once you add your uh bronzer and your highlight and all that good stuff but what i like about this is the finish um it does look really pretty and it has uh, it, it's an interesting finish. This says that it's natural, but um, I would say that it's more on a radiant type of uh, finish. And so, yeah, but either way, I like it. It's a different type of finish. So if you have dry skin, I would recommend it. And as far as longevity, it does have a decent wear time. I mean, you know, in most uh, tinted foundations or tints or light coverage if you do apply them lightly uh, with one layer you know they dip they typically do have a better lasting power as opposed to if you're adding a second layer and then you're setting it and then then you spray it and then because if the more product that you have on your face you know the that that it's just going to break down. So just kind of think of it as the less product that you're using, the less likely you are of, of having, you know, just weird stuff happening uh, once you've worn the product for a while. So that's it. That's my roundup. Let me know if you've tried any of these foundations. And if so, how did you like them? I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches.